Okay, do you remember a film Sex, Lies and Videotape? Oh, yeah. Remember what a big stir that was, Andy mm. McDowell mm. and uh, James Massive. Spader. It was such a good James title. Spader. It was a great title, isn't it? A little bit like Vows, Rows and Room Service. Uh, that was the inspiration. Steven Soderbergh, the director, um, has made a new movie for Netflix um, called The Laundromat. Sounds a bit of an odd title. It's based on a book. It stars Gary Oldman, Antonio Banderas and Meryl Streep. I think David Schwimmer's in there too, from Friends. And um, it's a film about the Panama Papers, which is the terrible creation of shell companies and the sort of... Offshore? Offshore, offshore accounts and all this kind of stuff. So it's about all the fraud, it's about all of the kind of, you know, the terrible deceit, it's the way in which ordinary punters lost money. And Meryl Streep plays an ordinary Joe, a middle-class woman, whose money has got tied up within the laundromat, I guess that's the analogy, oh, okay. of, the, uh, of the sort of shell companies that are responsible for all this. So I'm presuming Gary Oldman... You know what this is making me miss? What? Guess. Billions. No, what's one of our favourite drama series? Narcos. No. Oh my god, I can't believe you've Ozark. 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 Ozark, yeah, absolutely. Oh yes, of course, because he's trying to sort of, yeah, he's laundering, laundering money. money. So, um, so yeah, so this trailer landed yesterday. It's a Netflix movie. Steven Soberg, it's got great bones. He made, he had um he had a bit of a success with a bit of a cult hit that me and Maddie saw last year called Unsane, starring Claire Foy as a woman who's convinced oh, she's yeah. going All mad. All shot on an iPhone. All yeah. shot on an iPhone 10 or iPhone X. So uh, here we go. So this is called The Laundromat. Let's check it out. First, you must ask yourself, are you wealthy? Super truth of the world is that most games, for someone to win, well, someone has to lose. It's a fairy tale that actually happened. There's confusion over who has to pay. So they drown Joe and 20 other innocent people. And somebody's making money from it. Oh, well, it goes back to this law firm, Mossack Fonseca. So what happens next? What do we do next? All I did was try and send money. It's a scam that goes from Houston to the West Indies to some bank who knows where. They're getting away with murder. Which is bad. Bed? Yeah, bed is such a big word <laughs> for being such a small word. <laughs> How does it all work? Bribery, corruption, money laundering, millions and millions and millions of dollars. Somebody has to sound the alarm. <laughs> Let's... Where the fuck is my money? Most of the time, we don't even know. <laughs> oh my god! What a delight! Well, you can see Delicious. Gary Oldman relishing oh that. Oh my god! Bad, such a small word for it's such a big, big, big word. <laughs> No, really uh, good. That looks really cracking, doesn't it? Did you see Sharon Stone in there? Sharon Stone? Where's Antonio, Antonio Banderas been? Well, he's in another movie out at the moment, oh, which I am supposed I to be him. seeing this week, and I keep trying to but can't find the time, called Pain and Glory, where he plays the director Pedro Almodovar in a Spanish movie. Oh, there you go, that's where he's been. But yeah, he, ha he has been away for a while, answer. but he's, he's now back. Um, yeah, he looks good. Gary Oldman looks brilliant. Um, and how different does, does um, Meryl Streep look? Meryl Streep look from Big Little Lies. Looks so different, doesn't she? she? They've aged her a lot there. They have. And they've used they some have. stuff. God. And it has that feeling of obviously Ocean's Eleven, that sort of yeah. sliding in Monte Carlo type thing. Yeah. Wealth, all that wealth creation. Yeah. Steven Soderbergh, he just keeps on trotting out movies. I do like him. He's very, very, very productive. Would you watch that? I think we'd like that, wouldn't you? Yeah, I loved it. Loved the trailer. Little bit worried yeah. that it could be over, you know, an hour and a half. The archness might be a bit too much. Yes. I hope there's some light and shade with that and it isn't all just... High yeah, camp. I was beginning. It's a bit high camp because for me something has to be rooted in, rooted truth, in truth for me to be. Yeah, and and with the primary colours in every shot, yeah. you wonder whether they're going for the cartoonishness yeah. of it. Whereas I hope I do like those addresses to camera. They're great for trailers. I loved it all, but it's got, there's got to be some yeah, it's graphic stars. Some... Yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm it's I wonder if that comes rooted. from David Schwimmer. I've always liked David Schwimmer. God, he looks, he, just... he looks like he's had a rough couple of years. Doesn't Does he? he? I thought he looked quite good. Oh, I think he looked a bit. He's always a bit hangdoggy, isn't he? Yeah, but he looked really tired. But maybe that was his character. True. True. Well, he'd lost a lot of money. Yeah, a lot of money. A lot of money. 